In this tutorial, we're going to create roller chain links in Autodesk Fusion 360. The first thing we want to do is we want to come over here to our view cube and rotate it to the right. Now that we're looking at the right, we can come over here to our planes, which is inside this drop down, and you want to come and select the YZ plane. From here, let's come over and create a sketch. And the first thing we're going to do is come over to center diameter circle, and we're going to place this right on the origin. We're going to drag this out to 0.13. That's 0.13 of an inch. So make sure that your unit system is set to Imperial for this example uh, because we're creating a uh, part that's ANSI, A-N-S-I, so the American standard. The second circle is going to come from the center out and it's going to be 0.093 in diameter. 0.093 and once you created that you need to create a second thing exactly like this so we're gonna hover over that center point and we're gonna just kinda drag out and I'm just gonna create two circles and let me set a dimension here on the center one and click my original circle and I'm gonna do the same thing on the second one so 0.13 right there and I'm going to make the first one horizontal to the second and as you can see I can drag the surround and it's always horizontal with the first one so from here let's set a dimension that's going to set the centers to be a quarter inch from each other 0.25 once you have that set up what you want to do is let's just rotate this a little bit we're going to come over here, we're going to finish our sketch, we're going to come over here to solid. Now with both profiles selected, I'm going to come to direction and I'm going to choose symmetric. From here, I'm going to click on whole length so that it measures a whole length when I do the extrusion. And I'm going to drag this out until a distance of an eighth inch. So that is an eighth inch total length. This is a new body and I'm going to hit OK. So right now we have our two rings and from here what we can do is we can begin our wall of the link. So I'm going to start a sketch and I'm going to place my sketch right here on this face and I'm going to drag out a center diameter circle and this circle is going to be 0.236 in diameter and it's going to be the same thing here on this one as well um, except I need to project so I'm going to click on a circle here click P as in Peter on the keyboard and just hit OK and once you create that you're going to see that it comes up you can actually click on that circle that you just projected and make it construction now I'm going to come over and click center diameter circle I'm gonna click on it I'm gonna drag it out and I'm going to set a dimension on here to be the same dimension as this one and now that these are equal what I can do is the last step which is coming over to my arc clicking on three-point arc and I'm going to just select two random points on the two circles and I want these to be horizontal with each other these two points so I'm gonna click on the two points make them horizontal with each other now that I have that done, let me set a dimension on this. I want this to be 0.332 radius. And with that created, you can kind of drag it back up into place. You want to drag it all the way to the top. And what you want to do is you want to come to tangent, click on the arc, click on the circle, and that's going to make it tangent to the circle. So I want to do that same thing on the other side. Now we're going to do it the old fashioned way. We're not going to mirror it. We're just going to do that same operation again and let me click on the two points make them horizontal I'm going to set this to be tangent and let me set my dimension and if I want what I can do to go a little faster is I can click equal click on this arc click on this arc now they're equal so that's going to be great alright now that we've created this what we want to do is we need to do um, 
one last thing here. We, we want to make this circle 0 0.091. So I'm going to go to center diameter circle. I'm going to drag this out. And I'm going to make these equal to each other. After that's done, what I want to do is come to sketch dimension, set a dimension here. And I'm going to make this 0 0.091 in diameter. And what you can see is that this circle is actually slightly smaller than the roller that we first created. And there's a reason for that, um, because the pin that goes in here needs to uh, sit right here on this on the inner circle. So um, that's uh, from here we want to finish our sketch. Now we're going to come to extrude. And we want to be very careful with what we select here. We want to select this ring, this ring, and the outer ring. We want to do the same thing here on the other side. Because these are the profiles that we want to select. And we can also double check just to be sure that we're selecting the right thing. So you can zoom in and see that it's completely colored in. Now you could also come in and just trim all the lines and then it'll become one shape. But uh, for expediency, we're just going to leave it at this for now. So let's look at this like this, and we can just kind of drag this out. And I want this to be 30 thousandths of an inch thick. So 0 0.030. And this is not a join operation. This is a new body. So I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, that wall has now been created. Now the thing that we want to do from here is we want to mirror the wall to the other side. Now if you remember we created this extrusion from the mid plane. So if I come over here and, and select the YZ plane which is right here through the middle of the part, what I can do is I can actually just mirror this wall to the other side. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come down to create and what I can do is mirror, click on mirror, and we want to mirror this object. So let's come to our bodies. Click on the, this body. And the mirror plane is going to be the YZ plane. And you're going to see that that... To create our second link, what we're going to do is use the power of save as to save as our original link in order to create the second one. We're going to do that by coming up to file. Click on save as. And you can just call this part link to. And once we save it, the first thing we want to do is we, is we want to edit our first extrusion. So right click, edit feature, and instead of an eighth inch, what we want to type in is 0 0.185, so 185 thousandths. And that's going to make a longer distance between the two faces, which is what we want. And what we want to do is we want to edit this feature here so let's click on the sketch in order to edit the feature. And within this sketch, what we're going to do is we're going to change the values. So the first thing is let's get rid of the outside, the inside circle. So click on the inside circle and just delete it. Do the same thing on the other side. And I'm going to set this dimension to be 0.0905. For the diameter and you're going to see your two circles uh, change size. So what you want to do is finish the sketch and you can actually see the, um, the change here and you also may experience a problem in your second sketch. Now the reason is because uh, we just made a drastic change um, so it's asking for the for the location of a circle that does not exist anymore. So what we're going to do is we can see that our dimensions are still the same, 236 and 091 and all that, so uh, we want to just leave that as is. Now we could go back in the sketch and uh, try to fix it. So I can click on review warning and it's going to show the circle that has an issue. And so what I could do is I could right click, edit the sketch, and I can choose to fix this so I can uh, delete the circle that's the problem 
and I can finish the sketch and my issue has gone away as you can see. So um, from here what we want to do is we want to add some more distance. From here let's create two new sketches. We're going to click on this face and we're going to start a new sketch here. And what we want to do from here is drag out a circle that's the same diameter as the rod. And same thing over here. I'm going to set these two circles equal to each other. And I'm going to set a dimension here on this circle to be a diameter of 0 0.0905, same as the rod. With that created, what we want to do is we're going to finish our sketch. And I'm going to extrude this out, this one and this one. And I'm going to drag this out to be 0 0.057. And this is going to be a join operation. Now we can come over here to bodies and we can look at the bodies that we have. And what we can do is be sure that our body one and body two, body three and body four are exactly what we want them to be, and they are. So um, what, now that we know that, what we can do is we can do the same thing on the other side. So we're just gonna do that again the old fashioned way, just uh, creating a sketch. We're not gonna do a mirror operation here uh, because we wanna join, so it's the uh, same thing. And select both of them, make them equal, set a dimension on this one, 0 0.0907 for diameter. And same thing as before, come to solid, extrude, click on the, both circles, and you want to drag them out to be um, a dimension of 0 0.057, sorry, 0 0.057. If you click on the data panel, it'll bring up this uh, side thing. So come over here to hide data panel or show data panel. You can show it or hide it. And basically I can just come over here to my data panel and bring in my first link. So I can take this in and just drag it in. And let me close this. So I'm just gonna rotate this so we can see it a little bit better. Um, now I have my two links in here. I'm going to hit OK. And what I want to do is I want to constrain these. So I'm going to come to Joint. And what I want to do is select um, to create a Revolute constraint. So I'm going to click on Revolute and I'm going to click on this circle right here. And now I'm going to rotate this around so that I can click on this inner circle here and you can see that they're connected and uh, I'm just it just makes me uh, so happy to see things like this when things work uh, exactly the way they're supposed to it just feels so good um, <laughs> sorry about that aside um, the, so this Revolut uh, constraint is exactly what we want to show it's exactly what we want to have um, this is the motion that's going to happen within our chain link and so um, that's our tutorial. Um, for more free content like this, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if there's any sort of video that you'd like to see in the future. Uh, thank you.